Hi everyone, welcome to Motion Boat. We are back with another exciting video. In this video, we will make this cool looking retro style text animation. So let's jump into the After Effects and start with the new comp. And take a new solid, let's rename it background and take a nice and bright color for it. Take new text and type the title. I'm gonna type retro text. Okay, now press alt and double click here to take this center and press control and double click to take this anchor point into the center of the text. Now change this outline to fill and choose some bright and nice color. And make the pre-comp for the text. Name it main text. I am doing this because if I need to change the title, then I can just change it here in this pre-comp and don't need to animate again. Now select the text layer and click here on animate and all transform properties and animate the text. Just a simple pop animation. I have made a detailed video on text animation. If want to check, you can find it in the below description. Let's back to the topic, setting scale values, something like this. And I am gonna set the range selector. So select the offset and set key here, minus 100. And set another key here, make it 100. Here, go to advanced click here on shape and select the ramp up option. And set the ease in 50% and ease out also 50%. Now change the anchor value around 200. No, make it 500. Yes, this is good. Let's add some inner shadows to the text. This is fine, yeah. I'm gonna make a duplicate of this comp for shadows. Before shadows, let's add some decent strokes on the text. Yup, this is looking good. Now let's add drop shadows here. and adjust the shadow distance to something like this. To make it long, let's duplicate this shadow layer like this and adjust the distance. I am doing this step multiple times. This is good to go. Now let's add some texture to the overall comp. I'm importing the texture image here and setting the overlay blending mode. Change the opacity. Okay, now let's make a pre-comp to all text layers like this. And add transform. Set the skew around minus eight. Yup. Now let's add an extra element to the text. I am gonna add a white wave kind of thing as passing top to bottom. making a new shape and duplicating the text comp for the mask. 
let's animate this. Okay. Now link to the mask layer like this. And set this layer as an overlay. Now add some turbulence displacement. This is fine. Now let's duplicate this. Change the placements of keys and change in displacement setting. It should look different. Yeah. Let's move this texture layer to the top. And I think this should be something like this. Yeah. I need to change the background color a little bit. Now let's create BG animation. I am taking a white outline. Click here on add and select the repeater. Go to the repeater option and I am changing this to 50 copies and change the transformation from here. And set it like this. and set the layer placement like this. Now you can change the thickness of the line. Let's add turbulence displacement. And you can set the amount of displacement. Here, press Alt and click on this clock. And type here, time multiply 50. Let's drag this animation here. And add fill effect. Change the color. Add roughen edges effect. Let's make some changes in this animation. Let's change the fill color. I am going to change the line spacing from here. and adjust rough and edges effect a little bit. Let's change the fill color again and add some opacity here. It is done. Let's have a look at our nice and cool retro style text is ready. Thank you for watching this video.
If you like this tutorial, then hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and share this with your designer buddies. We will be back soon with another video. Till then, see you.